with Jonathan Upton. Good evening. If the Territory Government was hoping that anger over price hikes and cuts to services had subsided over the holiday break, it was given a brutal reality check today. A large group of protesters gathered outside Parliament on the first day of sittings and their opinion of our current leaders could not have been more clear. OK, I respect your right to have your point of view. We're Terry Mills under fire. The raucous crowd booing the Chief Minister. Some turning their backs as the steps of Parliament descended into chaos. Quickly organised but lasting well over an hour. The fiery protest was a melting pot of interests. Firefighters, nurses and NGOs, all with various axes to grind, be united in their anger at what they call the worst government in NT history. But can he be trusted? No! Can the CLP be trusted? No! We're not going to cop it here. It's not good enough for Territorians. And Terry, neither are you. But Mr Mills would not be baited. He copped every taunt, every anti-government slogan before accepting his right of rebuttal. Fireys in particular, I want to say this to you. I have heard particularly what you've had to say today. But his dash for the relative safety of Parliament House only sparked a further frenzy. Well, this is by far the most organised rally since a series of protests started at the end of last year. And those that are gathered here behind me, they promise this won't be the last. Each rally gets bigger and Terry Mills is on notice, the next will get bigger too. Another larger sized protest is planned for around budget time, while a smaller demonstration will be held in a fortnight, when the Humpty Doo fire station is due to go volunteer only. Brendan Wolfe, Nine News.